All right, Emily, in this video, let's talk about internet addiction. Is there something like that or it's all in our minds? I believe that you really can be addicted to the internet. It's this vast vortex almost of information and conspiracies and knowledge. And there's just everything so jumbled up that you can easily get sucked into it. I really believe. So how would you define it, though? You mentioned there is a lot of information out there, a lot of information that is very useful, very critical. But how would you define that? I mean, a lot of people, maybe they're working on the Internet. That's what they do. They develop web pages or whatever. Is that an addiction? Could it be? Yes, no? I feel like when it's your job, it's one thing. But when, let's say, you're off the clock and you can't get off of the Internet, you're stuck to Facebook or reading the news or surfing the web for who knows what, that, that can be a problem. What about binge watching, like with Netflix or something like that? Watching, you know, 10 episodes in a row. Maybe sometimes we need that. I feel like that's okay once in a while, but then you're kind of, you're also crossing into binge watching TV, like a TV addiction versus an internet addiction. And TV addiction has been around a lot longer than the internet. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a situation where, okay, let's say you're going to go camping and you can't live without your device. I can see there are benefits to having those devices, but as you mentioned, I think where it becomes a real unhealthy practice where you can't you know, separate yourself from your device, I think that's what we're talking about, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you, Emily, for your thoughts on this topic.